Have you ever liked something or wanted to like something so much and yet it just did everything imaginable to everything in its imagination to make you dislike it? Yeah, well, that's that's KD for me right there. Um, I need to meet the volume of my desktop audio. I need to hit play. Oh, oh, I disabled it. Well, that's sad. Let's try to make this. I'm trying to show you a bug. It's hilarious. I got a video of it in case I need to. Nope, it won't work. <laughs> I'll show you a video of it. Don't worry. I always keep videos of things. All right, go to clips. Uh, screencasts. Watch this. See that right there? And then it completely destroys the video. Yeah, so that's a problem. And uh, the video doesn't recover either, which is another issue. Uh, again, these are bugs with KDE, and they are a thing. It also happens on 6.1.1. whatever, and it happens on 6.2, so they haven't fixed it yet, and it's a real issue. I don't hate KDE, not by a long shot. I just like the fact that there's just so many bugs that hinder me using it and gets in my way. To the point where I got it to a certain point where I loved it. I'm not even joking. Uh, if I go into my Discord and theme and we head up, I'm going to show you. I think this is it. Yeah, this looks like KDE here. So this is what I had it. It looked exactly like my GNOME one to one because, well, GNOME and KDE can look exactly like one another without any hindrances or issues. The only difference is GNOME gets to keep its blur where KDE you sacrifice its blur to get rid of these. Uh, corners right here it's sad but it happens and you know i didn't even install any themes for this either because this can be done with a simple widget and look at this this is where we're at right now this is what is oh no it's doing it again isn't it there we go so this is what i did for that ladies and gentlemen this is another bug there we go. So this is what I have going on right now. We minimized an adorable little wallpaper with Zelda chasing after Link. And of course, their day is about to be ruined by these dudes because they're red and they're filled with malice. And this dude's blue, so he's fine. And then all in all, it's just like, okay, I like this. This suits me. It feels nice. And then I opened up this. And my whole fucking day is ruined. I censored myself, by the way. <gasps> KDE has many great qualities. It really does. But there's just so much holding it back. And it's all just simple issues that could be fixed with like 10 minutes of learning design on what not to do on YouTube. 10 minutes. Because when I was 24, and that was a very long time ago, I was building up certificates and things. This is before I was disabled. And... I took a design course, how to build iPhone apps and things like that, how to build desktop applications, what to do and what not to do. And KDE is a big example of what not to do. And I don't like saying that because people these days, they don't know what an opinion is. But in the book of what not to do, you have every example in the book, in the menus, again, right here, and you have it in their own applications like dolphin we put this over here and well dolphin's actually a lip a little bit more cleaned up in 6.2 which i do appreciate but again the settings are all over the place they're all split up they're put in different places instead of being in one big configure file they're stuck in literal sub menu hell and that's one of the big problems and then you have other applications like kate kaden live it just goes on and on and on every single qt application that i've ever come across has been hacked together and completely jank this includes yuzu even on windows on linux it was a disaster constantly you wouldn't be able to set settings it would break uh there's a current bug in kde right now where you have to double uh what do you call it 
double do something like uh, if if I go in here and I enable HDR and I hit apply and I keep it okay the apply button's still there why is the apply button still there turn off apply it it, it registers it changed my monitor from HDR to non HDR but if I hit close why do I have to hit apply again okay great all right that's not supposed to happen. I gotta help this guy out one second. There we go. He's gonna give me free stuff. It's just that KDE has a lot of work to do. 6.2 is a part of that work. 6.2 fixed a lot of problems. If we go into here and we do edit mode uh, and we do this, you're gonna notice that, yes, the widgets now appear over there. There are a lot more set apart they look a little bit better they cleaned it up a little bit better but the way the widgets are offered to you in the first place is a huge part of the problem this is part of what not to do when it comes to design and i know there's always going to be one kid in the comments who are like if you don't like it change it here's the thing i shouldn't have to these days people shouldn't have to go in and fix other people's problems what is this bethesda no it doesn't work like that people have been offering cleanup advice for UX and design decisions to KDE for ages. If you even bring it up on Reddit these days, they'll ban you. Okay? I've seen it happen. They just don't want to take advice. They don't want to clean up their UX and they're being forced to do so slowly to comply with Valve and other things that are moving forward without them. And, and this is where things are starting to change finally and I'm happy about it because I've been using KDE since 1998 off and on off and on off and on but never completely fully for months on end except when the kde 6 beta came around because i wanted to give feedback i wanted things to improve and they didn't take any of the feedback they didn't fix any of those bugs they just stabilized it to a point called it good and threw it at you they rushed it out the door they didn't even care enough to look at the feedback and say maybe this is something i have to fix and they're doing it again with 6.2. Do you know how many bugs have been reported in the last seven days? Let alone in the last 24 hours? Let's go take a look at that, shall we? Because that's probably an important thing. Let me just click my fishing spot. This is the KDE bug tracker. This is where you go in and you report bugs. They have the last 24 hours. And they have the last seven days. So 24 hours. 52 bugs, not bad, but that's only 24 hours. 330 bugs found in the last seven days. Now, what's changed in the last seven days? Let's take a look. Oh, oh, the result is limited to 500 bugs. My bad. Uh, 1,805 bugs in the last seven days have been changed or altered in some way. Uh, have gotten reports. Caden Live is an opening. That's That happens on GNOME. I hate when that happens. Because I try to make a video about improving. And then there's more. And this one. Krita deleted my artworks. Yay. Krita stable. I just. There's just so many issues. And people like to believe. Because it doesn't happen on their computer. That it doesn't happen for anybody else. Or that it's a skill issue. Or that it's a you problem. Bugs don't work like that. If you can reproduce that bug every single day. Every single time. Do you know what it stops becoming? Yeah, a you issue. Let me do something real quick. I'm gonna to go to the end of this video. I'm gonna hit play. It doesn't do notifications when I'm... One second, what's this? Oh. That's why. Let's try this again. There it is. Reproducible every single freaking time. Unless one do not disturb. By the way, fine again. Ooh, see there. Top, top tier. I missed a searing spirit. Man. I'm going to look at it this way. Look, I give KDE more chances than I've ever given anybody in my life. And that's saying a lot. Because I want it to improve and I want it to get better and people just constantly put me down for it. Look, if we're forced to accept your opinion, you're forced to accept ours. Just because it works on your machine, it doesn't mean 
okay that it's going to work on anybody else's machine. Every bit of hardware is different and every bit of hardware is going to reveal another bug. And that's the good part about hardware. You'll always find more things to fix. And once you get to the point where you start fixing bugs and not causing more bugs is the minute everything is going to start to stabilize. KDE hasn't gotten to the point where it's starting to stabilize yet. And it's not really going to until they change the way that they do things. They need to fix bugs without causing more bugs. And it's a really hard thing to do. But when you're constantly rushing things out the door, like they do, like they did with HDR, like they did with their VR implementation, like they do with their multi-monitor implementation, uh, like they do with their panels, their docks, their widgets, it sort of ends up being an endless cycle of, oh, this broke, let's just patch it and hope that it fixes it and let's see if there's any more bug reports. No, you open up a pull request, you fix it, you call on your community, which they have, to openly test it, to give feedback, make another fix, and keep doing that until nothing else breaks. It's called coding properly. It's called bug fixing. And once they get a hang of this, once they truly start to open up and let their community give them feedback without banning them or putting them down or any of that other stuff, ADE is going to be amazing. It's going to happen one day, but it's going to take them a really long time until they get there. The reason I constantly go back to GNOME is that it doesn't give me 101 issues every day. If I spot a bug, I go, I report it. If it's already reported, I add my report to the bug. Then when they tag me, can you test this fix? I compile it, I test it. I say, great, it works, but they will fix that issue and on and on and on. This is why GNOME takes so long to get things out is because they want to make sure that that fix doesn't break anything else. That's why VRR is still an experimental and that's why HDR is still experimental. HDR at this point in time is on par with, you know, KDEs, but it's not finished. They're only in phase one. Once they get to phase three and that's finished, they will fully be releasing HDR as a toggle. That's where GNOME differs from KDE. They put time and actual effort into their work and wait for community feedback before pushing it or merging it. And that's what always will separate them apart. This is why they are stable, but they don't have as many features. And the lack of features is honestly fine as long as I can use my goddamn desktop every day without having a thousand things bring me down. That's an exaggeration. At least 50. Uh, I have three issues on GNOME. One is the animation stutter. Okay, when you open up the launcher, that happens. They need to implement a shader cache for that so that you build it up enough times it doesn't happen. It remembers what your system is, what your specs are, what it does, kind of like with an emulator. Okay, there you go. Two, this is the second one. Uh, it's not actually a known problem. It's actually more of a NVIDIA problem. Working with NVIDIA to make sure each driver release or before each driver release that VRR or HDR is not bugged out and broken. Okay. Because currently on the NVIDIA drivers, HDR is broken and VRR is broken on multi monitors, which again is an NVIDIA issue. But if the developers worked with NVIDIA, they could solve that quicker than working by themselves. So that basically the open source community coming together, the, the developers and actually talking to one another. I think that would be really, really cool. That would definitely help everybody in the long run instead of just themselves. And another thing is if the Wayland developers, the Wayland protocol developers stopped holding back everything for long periods of time and took proper feedback and would talk to the other developers about acts and reviews and implementations and so much more. Because we're waiting on a pull request from Wayland Protocols about color management that is very much needed for HDR10+. And it's taking four years now because they just don't communicate with one another. They keep arguing and bickering instead of working together to solve problems. This needs to change. And right now there is currently something called a frog protocol that is trying to change this. 
And sooner or later, they're going to open up Wayland Protocol's devil branch or whatever. So the protocols can be implemented and pushed out faster so that they can give more feedback and stuff like that and actually get things fixed. Anyway, a 15 minute video about this is long enough. I don't hate KDE. It just gets in my way. I hopefully this explains it to you. And if you're upset or salty or angry about my opinion and my experiences, too bad, so sad. I hate to be that guy, but look, your experiences are not my experiences. I'm not going to have the same thing that you did. I don't have your same hardware. You have to remember that. Anyway, if you found this video, you're new here, go check out KDE. Maybe you'll have a better time than me. I have this annoying gift or a curse, if you want to call it, where I can see bugs happening everywhere and it annoys the hell out of me, where I can break video games if I need to. Hell, I've escaped the world of Guild Wars 2 and gone into development areas that are currently under, like currently being worked on, and it was hilarious to do so. So I have a gift, and I'm trying to utilize it and focus it so I can maybe help report more issues. Seren Spirit, thank you for watching. Subscribe, share the video. Bye. I've been trying to make this video for the last three days. Don't tell anybody.